So here we'll talk about parametric vector form. So in solving a system of equations, we can describe the solution using a set of equations like we've done in the past. However, typically we want to use parametric vector form. So we write the solution as a linear combination of vectors. So for example, I have this matrix and I can pull out the equations x1 plus 5x3 equal to minus 2 x2 minus 3x3 equal to 4. Since the pivots are in columns 1 and 2, we tend to solve for x1 and x2. So x1 is equal to negative 2 minus 5x3. x2 is equal to 4 plus 3x3. And then x3 is our free variable. To put this in parametric vector form, we want to find the vector x, which consists of x1, x2, and x3. So x1 is minus 2 minus 5x3. x2 is 4 plus 3x3. And we don't know anything about x3, so it just remains as x3. We can break this up the opposite of vector addition. So I'm going to break it up to constant values, negative 2, 4, and 0. And then things with an x3 in them. Minus 5x3, 3x3, and then x3. From here, I'm just going to factor out the x3 from the second vector. And that leaves me with negative 5, 3, 1. So this is parametric vector form. It's basically writing instead of a set of equations, we are going to put this into a vector. So what's actually going on? Well, in this one, our final form was x equal to p plus tv. t is our free variable in this case. If we're dealing with a homogeneous system, it would have instead been written as x equal to tv rather than p plus tv. So what exactly is going on here? Well, this one, the x plus tv, x equal to tv, this is a line passes through the origin. If I want to think of the other one, x equal to p plus tv, this is still a line, but it's shifted up by p. So it's shifted by the vector p. So this is kind of what's going on here. A homogeneous system is going to be a line that passes through the origin. If it's not homogeneous, it'll be a line shifted from the origin.